Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Friday of the month, let us consecrate ourselves once again to the most sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us beg for His mercy. Let us ask forgiveness for our sins. And let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conform to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiriatharba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham performed the customary morning rites for her. 
Then he left the side of his dead one and addressed the Hittites. Although I am a resident alien among you, sell me from your holdings a piece of property for a burial ground that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried his wife Sarah in the cave of the field of Machpelah, facing Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham had now reached a ripe old age, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the senior servant of his household, who had charge of all his possessions, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, What if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take her son back to the land from which she migrated? Never take my son back there for any reason, Abraham told him. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and the land of my kin, and who confirmed by oath the promise he then made to me, I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his messenger before you, and you will obtain a wife for my son there. If the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from this oath, but never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went to live in the region of Negev. One day toward evening, he went out in the field, and as he looked around, he noticed the camels were approaching. Rebecca, too, was looking about, and when she saw him, she alighted from her camel and asked the servant, Who is the man out there walking through the fields toward us? That is my master, replied the servant. Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all His praises? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Blessed are they who observe what is right who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as your favor, your people. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people, and glory in your inheritance. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need the physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, for almost two weeks now, our first reading has been about the story of Abraham and his journey of faith. And today, we have reached the conclusion of the story of Abraham. We end his story with the death and burial of his wife, Sarah, and the task of Abraham to look for a wife for his son, Isaac. By looking for a wife for his son, Abraham was preparing the future not only of Isaac, but if of his own lineage. By looking for a wife for Abraham, for, for Isaac, Abraham wants to be sure that his lineage will continue. In our gospel today, we heard the call of Matthew. When Jesus invited him, follow me, Matthew immediately left his post and followed Jesus. And by following Jesus, Matthew left his old life his sinful life, and he started to tread a new and better life with Jesus. By calling Matthew to conversion, Jesus is opening up a brighter and better future for Matthew. Jesus, in his love and his mercy, gives Matthew a chance to a better future. For that is what conversion means. Every time we heed the call of God to conversion, every time we have the courage to turn away from sin and to follow the path of the Lord, we are given a better life a better future ahead of us. My dear brothers and sisters, it is natural for us to plan for the future. Palaging yan ang nasa isip natin na sana magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang kinabukasan, na sana ang pamilya natin at ang mga mahal natin sa buhay ay magkaroon ng mas magandang kinabukasan. 
That is why we study well. That is why we work hard. Because we want to have a better and brighter future for ourselves and for our loved ones. Kaya nga yung mga nakatatanda, sinasabi sa mga nakakabata, mag-aral kang mabuti para maging maganda ang kinabukasan mo. Kapag tatanungin mo ang mga magulang, bakit ka ba nagtatrabaho? Na bakit ka nagpapakapagod sa trabaho? Para mas maging maganda ang buhay ng pamilya ko. We always plan for the future. But as we plan for the future, my dear brothers and sisters, let us see to it that God has a place in our plans. Magplano tayo, pero isama natin ng Diyos sa mga plano natin sa buhay. Let us see to it that we align our plans with the plans and the will of God for us. For after all, God sees the future, and only God could see the future. Nagpaplano tayo, pero hindi nga natin alam kung ano ang mangyayari mamaya. Kaya isama natin ng Diyos sa ating pagpaplano, dahil ang Diyos nakikita niya hindi lamang ang ngayon, kundi ang mamaya ang kinabukasan nating lahat. Maghanda, magplano, pero sa pagpaplano, kasama ang Diyos. And many times in our plans, God would have a better plan. Marami pong ikinakasal dito sa Manila Cathedral na nagsasabing, Father, dapat nga nung isang taon pa yung kasal namin. Pero dahil sa pandemic, na-postpone. Ngayon namin itutuloy. Minsan hindi lang isang lipat ng date. Minsan dalawa, tatlong beses na ililipat ang date. We could only propose to God. But in the end, it will always be God's plan and God's will that will happen. My dear brothers and sisters, what are your plans for yourselves? What are your plans for your family? What are your plans today? See to it that God is included in your plans. We will only have a better and brighter future if we plan with God and if we plan in God. Please stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit and aware of His call, let us bring our prayers to the Father as we all together say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in this Eucharistic offering, we may experience God's healing mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are living sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass.
Father, with the faith of Abraham who followed your call, your Christian people bring their prayers to you. Grant what you inspire us to ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son. Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with Him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love, and poured out blood and water from His first side, the wellspring of the Church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May he, Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.